Hello, today we'll talk about the module six, the last module. And uh, basically it will be about advancing with the interlinkages, action, point and recommendation. So the, the agenda of this presentation will have three point goal, action points and recommendation. Uh, uh, the next the next is approach aim to strengthen collaboration coherence and complementarity between the four pillars identified development peace and security human rights and humanitarian the pillar interconnections approach will improve assistant delivery action at the national subregional regional and international level it seeks to maximize the benefit of each pillar in order to reduce overall vulnerabilities and the number of unmet needs. It also strengthens risk management capacity. Achieving the African Union's Agenda 2063, the Africa we want, requires special emphasis on the areas uh, that promotes increasing development, peace and security among others. This model will summarize new approaches to planning, design and implementation of policies across the pillar to promote an integrated and adaptive uh, way of working that amplifies the gain made for the achievement of the SDGs and the Agenda 2063. Objective. The general objective is provide the tools to strengthen an integrated approach in the design and implementation of policy among the link between peace, security, development, and prosperity. Explore policy development and medium and long-term planning. Action points, pillar one, development. Political planning, the challenges, infrastructure, infrastructure remain in underdeveloped, the poverty rate remain far too high and inequality are also high. As a result, Africa development planning must consider the challenges intrinsic to each country, mobilize its capital, human, natural and financial. Design of the, pol of the policies, Appropriation and mobilization of the population, African resources to finance its development, responsible leadership and effective uh, institution, capable and democratic states and development institutions, change of attitude and mentality, a Pan-African perspective. Uh, design of policy, Ownership of Africa, Africa's history and brain, an African approach to development and transformation, learning from diverse, unique, and shared experience and best practices. Policy implementation, the determination, participation, autonomy, and solidarity of African people and leaders are prerequisites for success. A major challenge relates to the, to the issue of funding. The capacity of African state to finance their development is one of the major conditions for its effectiveness. Pillar two, peace and security. Political planning. The African continent is the scene of numerous armed conflicts with various causes, identity claim, policies, resources management, violence, extremism, and terrorism. Though any attempt of lasting conflict resolution requires a multidimensional approach integrating humanitarian actors. Polit policy design, an anchored culture of peace, safety, and security for all citizens appropriate contribution to defend the security and interests of the continent. Policy design. All conflict arising from ethnic, religious, and cultural diversity, as well as all form of social exclusion will have been eliminated. The culture of peace will have been 
instilled in African children through the integration of teams and subject on peace in school curricula. Policy implementation. The African peace and security architecture will be fully operational as soon as it is taken over by African resources. The fight against terrorism and violence extremists must give, must give rise to a need for capacity building of the defense and security forces within the framework of cooperation actions. Pillar three, human rights. Uh, political planning. Human rights are at the heart of international law and international relations. Represent fundamental values common to all cultures to be respected for all uh, countries. Therefore, all national and international stakeholders must be considered though contributed to the meaningful participation and cooperation of all actors. Policy design. It should be based on key points, namely, eliminated all acts of violence against women and girls in all settings, private, public, and in conflict situation. Eliminate all social norms and traditional practice harmful to women and girls, as well as practice that promote violence and discrimination against women and girls. Policy design. Eliminate all obstacles endearing access for women and girls to, quali to quality education, social and health benefit and all form of political, social, economic, legal, and administrative discrimination. Policy implementation. The existence of a legal framework promoting respect for human rights, social justice, the protection of person and property, independent judi judicial, judicial system capable of ensuring the consistency, the consistent and uniform application is the hallmarks of the rule of law. Pillar four, humanitarian. Political planning. The heart of humanitarian is to save lives, alleviate suffering and maintain human dignity during and after man-made crisis and disaster. Therefore, it is necessary to involve international and national stakeholders, more, specific, more specifically local. Policy design. The humanitarian pillar is viewed from environmental and human factor, as they ultimately relate to conflict and threat to human security, freedom, and development. So this required a local adaptation of human strategy, taking into account the available resources. Policy implementation. The humanitarian pillar is a complex, is a complex endeavor involving the, the efforts of crisis affected population, as well as a myriad of local, national, and international institution and organization working to assist them. It is it operates with three fundamental principles of humanity, impartiality, neutrality, and independence based on international humanitarian law as adopted in the fourth Geneva, uh, Geneva Convention. For this, implement, for this implementation, it is necessary to involve the stakeholder, namely association, NGOs, local authority, states, international institutions and foundations. Recommendation, trade, value chains, much remain to be done to explore opportunity for strengthening regional value chain framework in different sectors. In addition, the, the use of better technology, better quality input and up-to-date marketing technique will remove many barriers. IFCFTA has entered in its operational phase and increase in production and export is expected. However, 
to foster growth that is not fleeting, production decisions must be sound and long-term. They must integrate cut, cutting edge techniques and technology and be forward-looking. Uh, Non-tariff barrier constitute a major challenge for the full implementation of regional trade agreement and the AFCT, CFT solution must be found. The planner at the national level should further encourage and stress the need for continued investment in research and development. People, human capital. Global value chain do not work without human intervention. The continent needs to tap into its rich pool of worker by identifying skill gap and developing cross-border capacity building program. Infrastructures. Once policymakers remove obstacles to the produ productive dimension of regional integration, they will need to tackle the continent infrastructure deficit. If nothing is done to meet Africa's infrastructure needs, regional economic and social integration will suffer greatly. Without adequate infrastructure, no delivery of raw material to factories, no production, no delivery of goods to consumer, and no prosperity of commercial and financial activities, neither internal nor cross-border. Strong macroeconomic policy. Policymakers must now work for a real increase in investment at regional and continental level. They must harmonize action plan to preserve macroeconomic stability, and they, they must ensure respect for agreements reached between regional economic communities and across the continent. Early warning system should be put in place to ensure better management of exogenous shock, such as natural disaster or capital flight. Gender inequality. Achieving the SDGs required representation from all groups. It is recommended to ensure, to, to encourage the represent, representation of women among our group through awareness raising and capacity building. Consolidate the effort of national institutions on gender issues by creating units dedicated to these issues within the ministry concern and by offering regular institutional training. Thank you for your attention.